We're at Morrisville College for some college football action between the Morrisville Mustangs and the Milford Academy Falcons. Milford stopped the Mustangs on their first drive and Talani Russell feels this punt. He heads to his right, doesn't like what he sees and decides to go left. He gets the Falcons up near midfield with a great return. Fullback Adam Atia takes it up the middle for a nice gain. However, this drive would get stopped as quarterback Ken Tinney falls victim to this sack by Zimmier McLeod. The Mustangs couldn't get much going as Dante Bryant gets stopped dead in his tracks by Maurice Slocum. In the second quarter, Joe Meyer gets his punt blocked by the Falcons. Jason Remillard picks it up, but he's tackled by Chad Clemens. Milford would start moving it as Mike Graham completes a pass to Danny Huffer for a nice gain. Then on third and one, Jatavius Best gets the carry and he works his way to a first down at the 20. Things were looking good for the Falcons until Mike Graham throws this pass that John Smith intercepts with a diving shoestring grab. Morseville gets it going as Mark Magliacco bumps into his own man but still manages to complete this pass to Winfred Morph. Morph slips a couple of tackles and gets a nice gain. On the next play, Magliacco calls his own number and finds a seam for some positive yardage. Two plays later, Magliacco throws a quick pass that Anthony Rodriguez hauls in to get to midfield. On third and long with time running out in the first half, Magliacco finds Eddie Hall on the far sideline. He works it upfield and the Mustangs are threatening. With 17 seconds left, Dante Bryant gets an inside handoff. He's trying to get it to the outside, but he's taken down by Tyrone Burke and Francois Allen to send us into halftime with a scoreless game. The defenses start out the second half strong as Marquis Slocum wraps up Dante Bryant. More of the same when the Falcons have the ball as main Enwell grad Lucas Visengard stops Jatavius Best for a loss on this play. Morrisville tries to get things going near the end of the third quarter as Mark Magliacco completes a pass over the middle to Anthony Turner. Baxter Grisby strips the ball away from Turner and the Falcons get it back. Milford starts out strong as Jatavius Best gets a pitch from Adam Hearns. Best takes it to the Mustang 32 yard line. We move to the fourth quarter, same drive. Adam Hearns tries to get to the outside, but Ryan Green forces a fumble, and the Mustangs get it back. Morrisville can't get it going, though, as Thomas Drews records two sacks on this drive to force a punt. Andy Stopchick punts it deep to Talani Russell. He goes to his right, makes a move, but Ryan Green hits him and forces a fumble. The Mustangs have it in Falcon territory. Two plays later, Magliacco and Bryant can't complete this handoff and Milford gets the ball back. The Falcons try to get on the board as Adam Hearns hands off to Jatavius Best. He finds some room to run, but Curtis Johnson hits him from behind and pops the ball loose. Now the Mustangs have it back. Milford would hold them and get the ball back deep in their own territory, but the snap goes over Adam Hearns' head and goes out of the end zone for a safety. Milford's got the ball with less than two minutes left at their own 23 and down by two. Hearns completes a pass to Talani Russell who makes a great catch. Then Hearns throws to the far side complete to Nicola Giovanni who gets out of bounds and stops the clock. Two plays later, Hearns rolls out and finds Cola Giovanni and he comes right into your living room for a first down. Jatavius Best gets a handoff and takes it to the outside. He picks up a big chunk of yards to the 11-yard line and Milford's knocking on the door with a minute left in the game. It's fourth down from the 11 and Adam Hearns rolls to his right. He's looking for Cola Giovanni, but Ryan Green comes up with it and it looks like the game's over. Hold the phone, there's a flag on the play and the Falcons get a fresh set of downs. Hearns hands off to Best, but he's met with authority at the goal line. After a quarterback sneak comes up short, Adam Hearns calls his own number with time running out. He gets the touchdown with just over two seconds left in the game and gets mobbed by his teammates for his efforts. Milford Academy wins the game six to two. Let's hear from the players. Defense win championships, we doing it.
Rodgers. My big man spoke. Yes, man, the defense, all that, man. We ain't give up nothing. They gets nothing. I give it up to the D today, man. They played a hard game and they kept us alive all game. So I give it up to the defense. Defense wins, wins games, makes champions. That's all I gotta say.